Shout out to our family. Welcome to another At to the Red Messiah, also Rice Classes, where today we're going to be discussing international matters, particularly pertaining to the brothers over in London. I got my brother Satep on the line, a real good brother of mine, known him for a few years now. Mm-hmm. What's up, brother Satep? How are you? I'm doing fine. How you doing? I'm good, brother. I'm doing well. I'm doing good. Happy, elevated. Um, just want to, you know, let everyone know that at some rate, the real Messiah sends his love and gratitude that he loves you all. And he wants everybody to keep their head held high and proud, you know, also as is going fast or, you know, on the move, you know, but today we're going to primarily discuss, you know, I'm going to do a dialogue on the power of thought and meditation and, you know, organize them to like a, a information way and to go about creating projects. But before I get into that, I want to also let everyone know that Atom Ray is currently incarcerated right now and that he does, you know, need all your support. You know, so if you can, you know, check out AtomRay.com. We have many books for sale. That's all, it's available. You know, we have books from Atom Ray himself, and we have books from other brothers in Osa Rice. And we also have a donation to where you can, you know, donate him to him directly, and he will receive the notifications and the funds. So if you want to do a live video chat with that somebody, you know, please reach out to one of the brothers and we can walk you through that right now. Because if you want, he was, you know, wants everyone to know that if you want to speak to him directly, you know, a way of going about it, you know, is through video chat. And, you know, if you contact, you know, Osa Weiss office or, you know, me, you should tell any other Osa Weiss brothers, we will show you and direct you and going about setting up a video call with the chief as an Indian chief. But I want to continue on. But first we're going to open up. With our brother Tepper going to do the all prayer. And then, you know, we're going to start the show. Shout out to our family. For all prayer. Al Kulum. I'm in the love of the all, and all love is in me. I'm a part of the all, and all is a part of me. I am one with the all, and all is one with me. I can succeed as a part of the all, and fail as an individual. I could be all that I wish in all, as long as my wish is staying all. I am never alone. The all is, I am. The all can, I can. The all does, I do. I'll cool. 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 So, we got to just ask. You see, um, to set up a video call with um, the little brother, um, we we contact you for that, yeah. Okay, so you 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 brought us through a video. If you wanted to con- uh, set up a video call with uh, with Atom Ray, right? So, how you go about doing it is um, going to the you know the Solano County website, you know the detention center, and just going on to the, like you know search for his name, and then you know. Uh, once his name pops up, they have like a, you know, pay for a live feed to a video call. And that way you get direct, you know, access to him. I think it's like 25 minutes, 25 to 45 minutes. And it's about, I think it's $11, you know, and you can definitely do that. He wants to know anyone, everyone to know that if you want to speak to him directly, you know, then, you know, other way is, you know, I let you give me the updates and I can pass them on along when I, you know, do speak with them again. Right, like when I told him about you go, yeah, you were saying you got a um, you got a blessing recently. You were saying you felt that Atom Ray was um, doing some alchemy to help you get that blessing. You know, his reply was, you know, he he wanted to tell you that he loves you. You know, he says, you know, thank you for everything. You know, he loves you. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. So okay, I, I didn't know. So this is right. It's done over the net. And it's eleven. Yeah, you gotta have a computer. Yeah, you gotta have the computer to do it. And then it's like a or a video video phone, you know, but it's do it done through video. I've done it through the laptop through the computer. Okay. Mhm. I didn't know that. So what 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 time is he available from? So that what what happen is when you set up sign up for it, they give you some some time slots. You know, then you just select the time slot, 
they don't notify him, and it probably take like forty eight hours. You know, for them, to, you know, it's all all this is done through email setup. You know, so again, you know, you go to Solano County website, go to like you know the search inmates. You know, search for his name, Mark Brady, pops up. You want to pay for a live feed. You can pay for the live feed, they'll give you some time options. You know, a few of them to choose from. They're very, you know, it's like kind of spread out. And then, we, you know, fill out your information, your email, then, you know, the time slot you want. You can submit, what you, you know, it's your payment information. So each call is 11 bucks. But this is going on too long. Oh, hold on one second. Let's just have Amanda call in. Hold on one second. Shut it down, family. Is there anyone else on the line? Shut it out, bro. Shut it out, brother. My brother over in London. It's brother Ed on the line, man. I just got out of work, so I'm moving around a little bit. I had to have a little for a sec. So how you doing over there? I'm not too bad. You, you say your name is brother? Uh, brother Ed. Brother Ed. How you doing, brother Ed? Yes, sir. Uh, doing well, man. Doing well. Let's say this I'm doing well, man. Just just got out of work downtown, man, in this traffic, man. Just moving around, trying to get to the house. All right, right, right. So you winding down now? Well, not quite, man. I got a I got a few things I need to take care of when I get home, you know. Uh, I barely have time, man, to to wind down until, you know, later on, man, maybe later on in the night or sometime, man, you know, I work, I work seven days a week, man, so I'm always on the go, man, I'm always busy, man. I hear that. I'm down here as well, in London. Always on the go. Okay. Yeah. How it is over there today, man? Sun shining bright today? Huh? What time is it over there in London right now? Is it early? It's coming up to half past nine p.m. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, what's good, bro? Okay. Buddy, how are you? I'm good, man. How you doing, Tate? I miss your call this morning, good. man. I got to work. I was I, I was busy. I got busy early this morning, man, so I miss your call early, man. Yeah, but it's all, it's all good, you know. Um... You know, you know, it's all good. But we was in the middle of a class. And I'll make sure I keep the time, the clock going. You know, recording it as well. But I had got disconnected. So the Eminem was trying to get in on three way, and I was gonna put her on as well because she's working. Oh, she called back, but it got disconnected. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's not on. She, I hope she called back. I just, I thought my line was messed up, so I just disconnected. Right. She called back. She can't call. You can't call on the site. Call straight through. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. You know, I have to ask her. You know, I speak with her. You know, because um, she was just calling. That, that was she wanted to kind of do call me because she was kind of tied up with some stuff. So it's all good. You know, oh, so okay. we can just um, yeah, yep, yep. How many we got on the line today? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because it's on the computer right now. You know, I'm not sure, but it is being recorded, uh, so we want to continue on because, like, we want to keep this kind of short because it's kind of midday, you know. So primarily, on the line. Say it again. Saying that there's five callers on the line. Okay, cool, cool. 
Well, peace and love to everybody that's out there. Peace and love. You know. Yep, yep. So we just wanted to. Um, mm-hmm. You gonna? We gonna? You said you wanted to touch on meditation today and positive thinking. Yep, positive thinking and meditation and power of thought. You know, because you know, the concept of it is that a lot of our ideas, what's put in our head, is not all of our thoughts and our thinking. You know, a lot of stuff is generated from TV and music and the media, and it's put inside of us, and then we feed off of that. You see, so it's like they're giving us what to think and what to feed off of. You know, but there's also another way of doing it, and it's through meditation and the power of positive thinking. You know, because then when you do that, you kind of like block out all the negative stuff. And you open up your channels in your system more to where you can then download more more thoughtful, productive, creative type energy, you know, and you can take that and build off of that, you know, then, you know, doing it collectively with others, you know, and that's how you can, you can, you know, it, it grow, you know, so, you know, and, you know, with that said, you know, that whole concept of, of being positive thinking that, you know, I know Brother Pariel, he speaks on, you have to make your mind be on positivity, like you have to force it, you know, because the one naturally wants to be negative. I guess like, you know, you know, we're born and we're dying when we're born. So you got to put your, you know, mind on, okay, I got to think positive. I got to move forward thinking. I got to push myself and pull myself. You see, like literally, uh, so pulling, you have to put your thoughts through, you know, and, you know, doing that, that's through meditation. I meditate throughout the entire day, I feel. It's like every moment. And all we have is the right now, because the right now is being imported. I was just listening to a tape on Pops, and he was speaking about how important right now is, you see, because it's importing, like, the data is being ported through a system, and it's being generated, like, at that very second. So don't no one know what's going to happen. It's like infinite possibilities, you see, so it's being ported, all this knowledge, so it's right now. So then you base it on your life around what do you do at the moment and then now, and then it goes back to the whole time concept and where you're spending your energy at every moment because the more you put things on you know whatever you're working on the power you're thinking the thoughts have power as well that's what's going to manifest so you do it collectively and get an in, in, in line and in information we can do it as a whole and become a, you know like Atom Ray said a collective mind and we can all think and be on the same page and you know me speaking because I'm, a, I'm an app developer you know I'm gonna then now just talk about that for maybe like two minutes you know so with that said, you know, developers, you know, they use source code to write applications, you know. So you have developers and they use source code. And the source code is what makes the website works. You know, so these are the tools. This is how the website works, and it's open source. As in, you know, oh, open, meaning there's a secret there, it's a cipher. And they put this code online for free for other people to work on. So they have like a collective effort of working on code together for like the same common, you know, you know, direction. Like, you know, so you have applications that you have online, open source software that developers use to make websites and apps. You see, and one good example that we're going to do here at Oso Ice Office is we're going to teach people how to make the AdsonRay.com website. So again, here at the Oso Ice Office, we're going to show people how to build their own atomrate.com type website. You know, we're going to open source it so other people can download onto their computers. They can make modifications. They can make changes. And they can be able to, you know, add it back to the, you know, to the production site where it goes live, all of their changes that they want to import. <laughs> so we're going to do, like, classes on that, app developer classes on teaching people how to make atomrate.com. Then once you learn that site, you can then branch off and make your own because it's the best – with anything is having like code to look at examples to go by and we're going to make it like real simple for people to follow. They can like put A, B, C, you know, this is this page, this is that page, this is this information, this is this tool, make it real simple. So we're going to start with adtimray.com and those classes are going to, you know, start like this week and we're going to channel a lot of it back through the mobile app of what's going on through the adtimray app that's in the Google Play Store. We're going to channel everything back through there, you know, so I want to stop now and see, ask you any questions. Yeah, like you say, uh, could you explain a bit more on um, when you say uh, teaching people to make an atonray.com website? That, that's so, the name. 
you know, yeah, that's going to be named the class, how to make com. <laughs> you know, so with at the website, it's, it consists of source code, right? We all can look at, like, if you go to com, you see, you know, the picture, you see the slideshow, and it's, it's, it's just, it's just called um, code. You know, it's just like, it's source, it's source software that makes up the website. So I'm going to take the site and put it on github.com. And github.com is a repository where it contains other other tools to make websites with. You know, so it's kind of like a central database that people can use, you know, to get, you know, any kind of software like, you know, like, for example, Linux. The entire Linux operating system is on GitHub. You can download the entire source code and have your own Linux machine. You know, other popular tools, like one tool we're going to be using is called ExpressJS. And it's a JavaScript framework, it's a, you know, for building web applications. They call them fast, dynamic web applications. And it's called ExpressJS. So ExpressJS is in the GitHub library. So you can download ExpressJS through GitHub and have that tool. And with that tool, you can make websites with it. Wow. So, yeah, and this is a collective effort. They have developers doing this all over the world together. And it's like, it's no language. It's it's just source code. It's like zeros and ones. And I guess it's American English primarily, but, you know, it's not, it's mostly just like, you know, um, you know, um, objects and variables. So, but again, so, so yeah, so I'm going to take what we have now at com. take the entire source code and put it in GitHub. So also I'm going to have a GitHub library of source of applications and frameworks. And people can just go there and download them all day. And then when you put down any changes, you can push them live, and people can see what what you worked on. So we can have a music section for music type stuff, a library for library stuff. We got a lot of people who are interested in certain books. You know, input all that source library because it boils down to like where does the, the uh, man hours go? You know, and it's like, we're like we got you know a small team now, so we just duplicate the team and spread it out internationally. You know, so. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm channeling it, you know, and others, you know, how I go. And they see one, you know, it's gonna everybody else from their class is gonna kinda of follow the same energy. Yeah, you know, we we feed off of each other. Cause I used to do a little um I told you I used to do a little programming myself. I learned C. Mm. C, yeah, C. Mm-hmm. What you no, like about C? Backbone to programming. I know a lot of people that look at programming wouldn't know where to start, but um, I, I understand what you're saying. I feel what you're saying. It's a good idea. Yeah. Because with the website, they can kind of, like, where you're working on, you can see what you're working on. You can just look what's live now. Mm-hmm. You can, like, okay, this is, this is the file. This is where we're at. This is, you know, how to go about it. You know, then having you know classes around it like step one, step two, step three, so forth and so forth. And then so that goes back to like the collective mind. And then now you have you, everybody's source code into like one central repository, and then you know everyone working on it as a collective effort. And then you're like you're saving your your code as you go. So with GitHub, you know, you go to GitHub.com. Like when you work on an application, you're working on your code, you can save it in the cloud and others can see your changes. Like, okay, this is what he added. He added this particular music feature to the to the app application. You can see it, you know, right. so then others can see it. They can make comments on it you know, they can correct it. They can add to it. You know, this is all done free and at anybody's, you know, discretion, you know, but if it's like you didn't have a manager, so you have a repository manager, to make sure all the code and everything is like you know intact, you ain't getting nothing weird submitted or like something that's broken, control, yeah. or like out of line. Yep. How much would it cost to get all the tools off the of, off the web to build a to build an app? Like it's really not a cost thing. It's really okay. Primarily, you would just need a machine. You know, all the tools are free. You know, we're gonna be using you know. Linux primarily. And Linux is, is a free open source language. 
And it's very similar to Windows. Okay, it's, it's, it's like, like a free, it's mm-hmm. like complete language on there. Yeah, it's, it's very similar. Like you know, you know, you know Windows, right? Yeah. Right. So Linux is, is is very similar to, to uh, Windows, where you know you have a, a browser, you know you have a start menu, you know you have you know you can use your mouse, you can use your keyboard. Linux, you can do all these things with just like on Windows, but Linux is free to use, and it's more dumbed down and scaled down as what you need to do your job. Windows is like it's a lot more for like kids, and it's like very like beginners friendly. So where they make everything pretty and bright, you know, and make it all shiny and polished. And that's why it takes so long for your computer to boot up because it's doing all this shiny, pretty stuff for you. You know, but with Linux, it's like, it's, it's very ugly. Linux is ugly, too. It's like, ugh. But that's what you want. I just, I just really, I'm more about the speed and the efficiency and it being fast and responsive rather than it looking pretty. Because looks is just looks, you know, it's like, that's on the outside, but what's, in the in, what's on the inside. And that, t- that takes up our processing time with that well yeah with All it right. being pretty with windows yeah, and that's what and, and it does that makes your computer break down and shut down yeah because it's like you're using extra um you know presentation and it, you know it's even and then with that says even more source code that's being read you know because they're having to do extra writing of code to make it more pretty and that you know affects performance too so it's like all this other stuff that's involved then we try to you know start building applications using Windows, it's kind of the same mess. It is mess on top of mess. It's like working on a car. You know, I, I, many of y'all worked on the engine, but it was it was done, it was put together poorly, you know, and it wasn't it wasn't put together right. So you go in there, you're like, man, this is like not good. It's not a great engine. And, it, you know, it's probably too much at times. You know, so Windows is like that. And Linux is way more scaled down and it's free. And you can use Linux on any machine. Yeah, you know, all the other application tools you would need, they're free as well. You know, but soon we're gonna be selling like the laptop itself and the desktop machine. It's gonna be called a dock box. <laughs> like really like dock box, you know, like dock, like pops, you know. Mm-hmm. Dock. <laughs> Grab your dock. Mm-hmm. But that's coming real soon. So that, that answer your question, brother Ed. But you saying the cost though? Yeah, I thought maybe like the tools you get it, like when you talk about uh, Linux. I thought maybe like when you go to set it up, I thought maybe they charge you for like uh, things you need to put the app together. No, it's all it's all free. All the tools are free. Okay. Yeah, like so. I give you another example of, of a free framework. Like you got a you got an Android phone. Yeah. yeah. So the Android, you know, the, the developers at Google, they bought from another developer and his team. It's called the Android SDK, and it's pretty much a uh, it's a developer's framework for building, uh, you know, applications, you know, p- particularly for Android devices. And it's called Android SDK, and it's free. So Google put it out for free. So others can take it and they can be able to build tools, Android tools, because it's really benefiting them because they're giving you free code to then turn around and make software for their phones. You see how it works? So it's like uh, it's like free, but you see what I'm saying? Right, they give it to man. you for free. All right. But again, and you take that free code. Right. They make they're gonna make yeah, they're gonna oh, they cut they cut it in. So but because it's free and that's like the free is the best way of showing love. It's like free. And then when they, it's being free to get developers all over the world to work on it too. But they got developers who work on it everywhere. Then they have like the main Google team just make sure, you know, it's everything's in tech and it's, it's functional. So each new phone that comes out, Android phone is, you know, it uses the Android SDK, you know, to power it, to power the app application that you're, you know, you're using. And they, they they give that tool for free. It's not even a cost associated with it. So then you have the framework itself. You would then need other tools to be able to work that framework. You know, but you know, we take the class, you know more and more about it. But yeah, it's pretty much all you got really gives the machine and internet access. You know. What will the classes be recorded, Tech? Oh, of course. Yeah, it's gonna be recorded on the YouTube channel. 
when you speak yeah, about this, what kind of machine is it? What kind of machine is it that, that you would need? You can you can use an older uh you know oh, older laptop or old desktop because that's one thing with Linux, it doesn't require much to run. So you can even have a I got like an old okay. computer. You know, my computer probably wouldn't even handle Windows. Oh, okay. Like it probably like Windows is too much. It'd be it will slow it way down. You know, so it can be running like you got like a lot of us got old laptops laying around. You can take that and put Linux on it as like oh. test. You know, to test it out. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, so I so I can get so I can, so I can get on the laptop and all I gotta do is download Linux and I can go in and pretty much look at you know well I'm not I never did any you know coding anything like that but I'm just kind of interested when you brought it up you know on how this thing works. Right, right. Yeah, and because because with Linux it's more like it's more straightforward and narrowed down. I mean that's from my perspective because you know but I came from a Windows world. But you know, Windows is just like a lot of you know, like over the top stuff where it's a lot of drag and drop. You know, it's a, like you don't really see what's happening up under up under the shell. But Linux, you kind of can follow it and see what's going on up under the shell. You know. So, but then we're all gonna be working on atomray.com website, like collectively. And then when people have features and changes, they just work on it. They be able to submit it, and they can see their changes appear. Um, we gotta like map that whole part out because it's gonna have to be things like I guess the the e-commerce part. We don't want to give everybody access to that, right? <laughs> but then you know, but yeah, but yeah, but you've seen it work. That way, you can you can get ideas. That's a, one thing with coders. Like we look at other people's code. None that, none of this should be from scratch. Like I, I'm the copy paste king. Like what? I copy paste everything. Well, I do write my own code, but so I write my, my make the code simple, and I just copy and paste it over and over again. But I do it simple one time the right way, you know, and you right. know, keep it simple. That shit. I mean, kiss. That's an actual programming uh, analogy, like kiss. You know, like keep it simple as shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's a uh, coder's joke. So. Yep, yep. So that's where I'm at with it. The call been going on for you know it was ten forty six now. So I'm probably gonna like you know go and, go and start to close the show. Uh, let's see. Was there any more questions? I got one question. Okay, on the classes, right? On the, on the classes. Okay, let's say mm -hmm. you start the classes and um, when you start uh, teaching the classes, I mean. Uh, everybody gonna have to be, you know, like on the on the lab, on the computer, and go into it. Uh, are you gonna follow that step by step on how to set this thing up? Yeah, because it's like it's logical, so you can like, I can I have provide pamphlets. You can just follow what's in the pamphlet, like step one, step two, step three. Then have visual steps on, you know, you doing it like step one, step two, step three. You know, because it's gonna be it's gonna be the same. It's gonna have to work. Cause it's only one. It's only certain so many ways of doing it, you know. Like it's only like a handful of ways of doing it the right way, you know. So it's like you got a lot of uh, trial and error, you know. Um, but it, but it's like I, I've I've went through and found the best ways of going about creating it. I've, I you know, cause it's like it's thousands of tools out there. It's like thousands of tools, all kinds of tools. But I've narrowed it down to like fifteen tools. That you need to get some serious stuff done, like, and be, and, I, and it makes sense because it's like pretty much that's what makes atomray.com. It's really just 15 tools you're using to make that entire website. Right. Is that same for apps? Yeah, same thing for apps. Sure, you know? yo. Yo, side out, bro. How are you, brother? Shout out, brother. Yeah, so. Yep, yep, Y'all go ahead. My bad for interrupting. Oh, cool, cool. Um, we're just talking about, you know, the power of thought and meditation, and that you know, with what you think, it, it stirs up energy, and you can start it from within and push it out, and that's the whole. You know, your creative will. And then we can take that and connect it to others and kind of spread it around. 
So I was saying a good direction, a good way of getting inform informed and information is what developers do. You know, they work together collectively on the same tools and technologies to make, you know, a project. And one of the projects we're going to have a class for is um how to build AtomRay.com website to show people how to go to step one, step two, step three on how to make a website. AtomRay.com, and it's getting us in that formation. It's one example, but there's many ways of going about it, but this is a particular way people can, like, say they can see it done. And then even with when you're you coding, you can see your progress. You can see where you're going, you know. So we're discussing that, you know. Um, yeah, anybody have any questions? I don't want to get too far ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm good, brother. Cool, cool. I'm just listening. Cool. So I'm, you know, that's what we're going to be doing going forward. Well, one project, you know, that, you know, me Tank being in the app developer department, going to focus on, you know, help spread knowledge that way, you know. So it's pretty much, you know, my conclusion of, you know, of, you know, this, of this, what I want to discuss. I just want to share like 10, 10 minutes. I don't want to go too long and dialogue about it. You know, if anybody, any other brother got anything they want to talk about, you know, feel, 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 feel welcome to. I was going to say, with the, as a programmer, you, you spend a lot of time in concentration. And um, mm -hmm. that, that is, that basically is what meditation is. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's concentration. Um, I, I, I try and meditate a lot. I have a special meditation that I do. And like when you're meditating, you'll probably find you have about five different thoughts going through your head. You might be thinking about something that bothered you the day before. Um, another thought might be about what you got to do tomorrow. Um, it could be anything, but like, you know, when you start to meditate, these thoughts break down like five, four, three, two, and one. And when you get to that one, that's when you're talking with yourself. And that's when um, you will find the right knowledge coming through. Mm. Um, or speak. Uh, and after a while, even that thought as well, you, you, you write that down. And I like to shut it down to the point where the only thing you can hear is what is physical sounds for your ears. And when you go there, try and hold it for as long as you can. Because it stretches, it stretches your, your concentration. And it also, you find that your, your energy begins to rest. And if you do that the night before you go to bed, when you wake up in the morning, you feel, you feel a new surge of energy. Meditation, I find it is very, it's very powerful, especially the more you do it. So is that is that the best time to meditate, like right before bed, or or do you first uh, after the day, or just at night before you uh, go to bed? When I I do that meditation um, at night before I go to bed, but. Um, I remember we used to we used to meditate. I mean, someone asked Barbara a question. They said, um, yeah, "How often do you meditate? What times are you supposed to meditate?" And my Barbara's answer was, um, "He just said, look, when we were back in the day, we just stayed in tune. So I, I've I've got it to." I used to do those times where I meditate at night or try to do it a certain time every morning. But I find moving in the now, you just, it's not about time, it's just, it's about a feeling. It's, it's when you feel it. But to get some practice of that meditation, it's good to do it, it's good to do it at night before you go to bed. Yeah, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be amazed. 
Well, I was just saying because this, I haven't ever, I haven't tried meditation, but I know I do the Lord like you know, that, that uh, part of the chair because, you know, uh, Life's I, kind of you know, I've been running into, uh, I've been running into like a lot of like negative energy and something in the back of my head just keeps telling me you need to start meditating, you need to start meditating, you, need, you know, start doing these different practices, you know, like negative energy at all. So that's why I left the question. Okay. I don't I don't know if it's if it's just me over here, but um the your line is breaking up a lot. I could hardly hear what you're saying. No, I think it's just me over here, but um the your line is breaking up a lot. I could hardly hear what you're saying. No, I said I was uh I was asking the asking the question because I haven't started meditating yet, you know, that's something that I'm about to start getting into because I really need it. So um, I'm kinda of, I'm kinda of new to the meditation, but um lately it's like, you know, I've been running into a lot of negative energy my way, so, you know, um I'm, I'm thinking that maybe if I start meditating, meditating, start meditating, you know, and the love to start, you know, um practicing that maybe, you know, it help, you know, fight out some negativity and maybe it'll start, you know, reviving me like in the morning. So like I said, I work I work two jobs, seven days a week I'm at work. I never have an off day, so you know. And I and where I'm at, you know, I'm an hour, so I deal with a lot of a lot of different beings here, you know, a lot of them up here, you know, where it's cold and stuff. So I have a lot of negative stuff coming my way, you know. So that's why I was actually uh on the meditation uh, is it a is it a certain uh, time of the day uh, that's best to do it? You know, you know what is best. You see, especially how we live in this hectic lifestyle, the best time to meditate is when you know your you've got a period of time to do it. It could be any time of the day. Um, meditation is good at any time, but it shouldn't be forced. You should you should feel when you need to do it and just answer the call. But the more you do it, um, the more you know, you'll be, you'll be coming true with it, and you just know when to do it and why to do it. Um, especially, I say I say to you, because you're so busy as well. Um, what I find with that that meditation that I did, where you learn to shut down all thoughts. And just become your energy level increases better. It's, it's better doing that, right? Before you go sleep, you you have you will feel um, like you had a proper sleep if you did that before sleep. Because a lot of the times when we go when we go in bed at night, we've got thoughts going around in our mind, and that that those thoughts are wasting energy. So if you if you got a busy schedule, you're you're working seven days a week, and you want to rejuvenate rejuvenate yourself, then yeah, meditation is is good, as much as it as much of it as you can do as possible because continuous thinking is is waste it wastes energy. But, yeah. No problem. So anyone else on the line want to add? Add to it? Thank you, student. No, I'm good, bro. I'm ready to get off in a second, though, bro. Huh? Try to Set it up. Up there, right? Set it up, bro. He came on. Try to have time to see it. Tune in. Set it up, bro. Set it up, bro. Yeah, I see it. I see it now. I got it. I got it all. Uh, 
but I think I have to put it in just like that instead of. Yeah, brother. I, Andy. I had, mm-hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. I was saying, brother Anthony was he was trying to send some, you know, uh, some of the chief as well online. He was having little, little roadblocks. With it doing it on the phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that uh, I wanted to tell you, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, when you you posted that about the uh, about the owl, that was that was mm-hmm. real good, man. That was really, really good. I liked it, that one. Thank you, thank you. I just channel that energy, man, and it be, be happening, man. Mhm. Thank you, though. Yes, and and see, my we would get in, man. My wife, my wife, she be she be sleep, so I I be tuning in, but I don't be want to talk and then wake her up, so I be tuning in, so I don't hardly say much. That I say something, she she wake up. It's hard for her to go back to sleep. So I'd be like, and then if I get up and go in somewhere else in the house, she's still going to wake up. Oh. So I'd just be tuning in, though. That's it. What y'all was talking about? What is the tip there? Shut it down. Huh? I'm still out. Thank you. Everybody still out? Yeah. We, brother said came on. He want to know. He want to summary what we've been discussing. Oh. Okay. Um. Brother Tate was going over. Uh. Just going over the uh, the classes on the uh, on the on the Ray app. He's going to be teaching everybody how to put the app together and uh, how to go on the site and use these different tools that are free on the app and uh, put the app together so everybody have access to like building their own on two way uh, app site. Or you can you know get real good at the coding. You know you might want to open up your own own store line or something like that. You can. You know, have the access to these tools to build your own store, and um, I was basically talking to the brother in London, asking him about uh, meditation. You know, because that's something that's been you know uh, bugging the back of my head, man, for the longest, man. The lifestyle that I'm living, I, I work seven days a week. I'm always on the go, so you know, and I'm here in Iowa, man. I don't know if any of you guys ever been to Iowa, or whatever, but. There's a lot of different beings here that you know I deal with on a on a daily basis. So I'm 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 surrounded by you know negative energy in and out. You know, and meditation to me is something that you know I I, I tried it before in the past, but I never got into it. But it's something that you know uh, I'm about to start doing because I need it to rejuvenate myself. So I was basically asking. Uh, what was the best time, you know, really to do it and what was the certain time of the day to do it, you know. But he pretty much answered my question on point where, you know, uh, the way I run, the way I, you know, my lifestyle, being busy all the time, pretty much is, you know, start practicing the doing it the night before bed. You know, so that's a touch up on basically uh, what we're talking about so far. You know, if uh, you got anything you're going to add to it or anything specific you're going to talk about, you know. Anybody do any sun gazing, sun gazing, form of meditation, sun bathing is a form of meditation as well? Uh, I love the sun, man, you know. uh, Unfortunately, you know, uh, I have – I've never – uh, really done sun gazing? Is that like, you know, really just sitting out in the sun, just really just absorbing the absorbing the energy from the sun? Is that basically what you're talking about? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I was just speaking in general. You know, I sun gaze a lot. I look right into the sun. And then, um, 
when in this world okay. hot outside, you know, people go to the swimming pool and they lay out and get their tan. I don't right. call it tan, and I call it sunbathing. So as a black person, right. I sit down and let all of my skin soak up as much light information I can get from the sun. And while I'm laying there meditating at the pool, all that light going into, right. the, you know, because my eyes be closed. So, but you, but that light is still penetrating. Right. You know what I mean? So you'll you'll have some real right. deep thoughts, man, doing that type of form of meditation as well. Okay. I wish I could do some of that over here in London. We don't get no sun over here. Man, I I love the sun. I know man. y'all over it's, here with the nice y'all got out, the man. werewolf. I got that werewolf season, that werewolf weather over there. <laughs> all the mountains, all the trees, and all the motherfuckers. You know, you know they came out of the mountains, man. You know, Europe used to be a bunch of forests, man. They cut all them trees down right, and right. shit and started building and stuff. Now you got all them daggone lands over there with a bunch of brick and stone buildings and stuff, making it more colder. You know, they over there, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry, bro. No, I was agreeing with you. I was just agreeing with you. Yeah. Yeah, y'all don't get a lot of sun, man. You know, and a lot, a lot of our brothers and sisters over there in London, they from the islands, too, so they be needing to get that vitamin D. Right. That's right. Yeah, you know. tropic. Oh, tropic. Yeah. Hey, um, okay. Was Unc, when 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 was uh Unc gonna do that um that class on the um, the credit? Is he gonna when we start the uh, classes? We gonna get it lined up for? Is he gonna do that on the uh, bids and revenue? Have anybody talked to him? Uh, uh, me personally, it's, it's Anthony. Like I haven't that. spoke to him yet. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. I'm going to go ahead and put my phone on mute. No. Oh, no. I was just going to say he was on. Uh, he done a uh, a class a while back, a few weeks ago. He broke down. He did, He went down to detail about uh, about the credit a little bit, you know, about buying uh, houses and, and different stuff like that. But uh, I haven't heard anything about just starting a, a class the classes on, on, online or teaching the classes, you know, weekly on, on it yet, you know. It's been a minute. I haven't heard him on on the line in it in probably in a couple of weeks. Yeah, so that's what I was. I was. He, he had said he was gonna go into the uh, when the classes got started. He was gonna go into the real estate part of it once he you know started from you know individual. And then that way you know like like I got a lot of ideas. My wife we we sell you know what I'm saying clothes and stuff, but. It's like, you know, I be working too, so it's a lot of times it's like I would like to have a good platform to, to build with and so where well, well, I can, you know what I'm saying, stop slaving, man. You know what I'm saying? Start building. And so right. that's why I was asking about okay. that. But it's, it's coming. Okay. Yeah, I uh, so that's my uh, thing. Morning. I uh, I would ask him about it. You know, that's the thing with the website. With, the, with you know, us being able to add on to the website, so we got to add like this section of classes where people can kind of go on and see what's going on, be able to register, and, like all, have all kind of different classes. You know, like you know, brother said, you know, you you got a neck in a certain real estate, you know, energy that you want to you know tell out to the public. You know, you can say start you a class. You know, we can run it through the, through the website and through the app. You know. So we want to move, start moving towards that energy, like real, like t- tomorrow, really. So yeah, but um, next time I ask him about the uh, credit and repair, you know, I um, ask when you're going to want to start the classes. I definitely let him know you, you know, you, you requested it about it. Yep, yep. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. No problem. Bro. How your brothers doing in London? How y'all doing in London, bro? Yeah, we good. We good over here. All right, all right. We just dodging the weather. Yes, 
Sun ain't quite yeah. shining. Yeah. Yeah. Who 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 am I speaking to? This said out of Houston. Yeah. Yeah, Bill. Um, yeah, brother say yeah. I I choose to tell brother tell out of London. Mhm. Right. Yeah, we all good at it. We all good. Another brother I think he's working. Brother Pia. What's up, Pete? No, no, he's mm-hmm. he's he's not on now. He, he's he's working, I believe. His work is random. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It's br- brother N. That's, uh, that's what I was speaking to earlier about the meditation. Yeah, this Ed, I'm still on, brother. Yeah, um, um, I don't know if you can get my details from Tank. Um, if you send me your email address, I. <laughs> I'll send you a, a meditation yeah, I, now. I've got it written out. It's quite um, real simple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I can get you. I can. Uh, I can get. Uh, I can get Tank to forward you by email, or either I can get your email from him and, and uh, email you uh, directly. Either one. But yeah, most definitely. Right. What's, what's your name on the messenger? A uh, messenger. What's your name? It's gonna be on the. It's gonna. It's gonna be on the Ed Williams. Ed Williams. Uh huh. All right. I don't know if I have any friends, but yeah, I'll send you. I'll send you something. We'll 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 sort out something. Okay. All right. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that, brother. Yeah, I follow with y'all on that. You know, I make sure you know you guys connect. You know, so we got progress carving going on. Hey, you know, you know, you guys. Hey, Tay, can you forward him my can you forward him my email address? Yeah, I'm doing it right now. Yep, yep. If anybody got anything else, I'm forward that right now. Um, you know, if anybody wants to discuss anything, you know, we can, you know I don't want to have any any open space on on the, on the air, mm-hmm. or any like you know moments are required. You know, nothing is happening. I'm good. Um, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna make a move myself. I mean, it's late over here in London. Um, I've got a few more hours before we have to get up again. Um, yeah, I received that. I received that tank. Um, brother, I'm going to send you. I'm going to send you uh, the meditation real soon. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, brother. No problem. Family, I'm going to make a move. I love you all. Peace and love. Shout it out, brother. Peace and right, love. You love you too, brother. Shout it Be out. Careful. Shout it out. Love you too, bro. Yeah, um, we'll talk again. Shout it out, here, brother. Yeah. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out.